before dark, all right. It's about time. The price was beginning to drop in the atomic pile chamber. We'll have to recharge it before we take another trip. We'll have plenty of time. We got a good look at all the points of danger on this patrol. We shouldn't have to go out again for a while. That suits me. It's pretty monotonous just floating around in space. But now that everything's so peaceful. You ought to be glad that we don't hey, have it. There's a ship. It's one of the ruler's rockets. Take after him, full speed. Right. Full speed isn't so good now with that pressure down. get started now. Right. You're sure we're not in the field of gravity yet? Of course not. As soon as you clear our slipstream, you'll stop falling and just float around until they pick you up. I suppose they don't. Then we'll circle around and pick you up after we get away from them. Go on. two men fighting on top of that rocket. What? I'll bring the image in a little closer. What do you suppose it's all about? If we can keep them in sight long enough, we'll find out. Now! Right. Fly under him and we'll pick him up. There's no use trying to catch that rocket now. Proceed directly to Mercury and be ready for Cody when he gets there. Yes, Your Excellency. But we told Balin to try and kill Cody before they get there. Mm, if we can do that, so much the better. But remember, getting rid of him is only part of the job. I must have his rocket. Yes, sir. Why is that rocket of Cody's so important? 
has that attachment on it for getting through the cosmic dust blanket around the Earth. The Rune will have to copy it for his own rockets before he can invade the Earth. Now, suppose you tell us what this is all about. Who are you? My name is Balin. I'm a citizen of Mercury. Mercury? Then what were you doing on the ruler's rocket? I was captured during the invasion. Then the ruler has invaded Mercury? Yes. Three months ago, his army landed and occupied the whole planet. Many of my people were killed, and the rest are now nothing more than the ruler's slaves. They're doing their best to resist, but it's hopeless unless you can help us. That still doesn't explain what you were doing on that rocket. I'm a research scientist. They were taking me to observe your cosmic dust blanket around Earth and work out some way of getting through it. When I saw your rocket, I broke away and escaped. How did you know we'd pick you up? I, I hoped you would. And even if you didn't, well, anything would have been better than being tortured into helping the ruler. We'll have to talk this over with Commissioner Henderson. Head for home. Yes, sir. We can't even be sure this man is a Mercurian. No, but from what he told us about Mercury, I'm sure he's at least been there. His story about the ruler's conquest of the planet sounds convincing, and that's serious. It certainly is. The Mercurians are a very intelligent and hard-working people. And the planet has plenty of natural resources. With their help, the ruler could build up a very destructive war machine. And also have another base of attack against other planets. You're right. Even though he still can't get at us through the cosmic dust blanket, he could encircle us and cut off our communications with the rest of the universe. You think we ought to send an expedition to Mercury? We're not sure enough about the situation to warrant sending an army. But I'd like to take the rocket up there and find out just what's going on. That seems like the logical thing to do. How soon can you start? Well, the pile chamber is being recharged now. We can make it uh, day after tomorrow. Will we uh, take the Mercurian with us? Yes, but why do you say we? Are you sure you're going along? Well, if you and Dick are going to be scouting around, you'll need someone to fly the ship. Maybe you better take her along, Commando. Of course, I was only teasing her. So let's get her supply list figured out. compartment are stowed all right before we hit the cosmic dust blanket. Okay. It's wide open. We're going in circles. Here it is. The cable's come loose. Now what? The valve must have blown clear open and gone over center. I'll have to go outside to reset it. 
Yeah, you stand by to hook this up when I get the valve back in position. Right. You'll have to go out with me and handle my lifeline. Yes, sir. Put on the space helmet. Remember, we're still in the field of gravity, so hang on. I'll be careful. You take the line and secure it on our signal. Was chafing. Yes, you should have. We're both lucky to get out of that alive. Up ten, Dick. Up ten. Canyon, your ship would be well hidden. You're sure there aren't any of the ruler's troops around there? Positive. Nobody even lives in that desert section. 
All right, Dick. Let's put her down. Going down. are hidden in the hills near here. I could lead you to them. We'll try that later. I'm going to fly out ahead and make sure there's nobody else around. Get me a pistol, John. Put your hands behind you. Come on, quick. Put them on. Hurry up. You two, come up here. All right, now keep quiet and you won't be hurt. Valen calling R7. Valen calling R7. Come in, Valen. We have landed in the canyon you selected, and I've taken over the ship. Did you get rid of Cody? No, I missed on that. He flew out on a scouting trip. But I have the others, and we can easily get him when he comes back. We're not calling the ruler. We have other plans. What? Yes, the whole collection of the Mercurian sacred jewels. He sneaked into the temple and took them. Does the ruler know that? No, and he isn't going to. We'll take them with us to Earth and Cody's rocket and sell them for enough to last us the rest of our lives. If we double-cross the ruler, we won't be safe anywhere in the universe. Why not? No one can catch that rocket of Cody's, and even the ruler can't get through the cosmic dust blanket around Earth. Uh, I still don't like it, but we can talk it over when you get here. We'll be right over. All right, I'll open the door when I see you coming. All right. Take the jewels. you. 
are you going to do when your friends get here? Hi, Phelan. Don't move. Passenger. Did you hear everything? Yes. His friends ought to be here any minute now. Here they come. What do we do now? They won't be expecting any trouble, so it should be easy. I'll open the door and let them in. Get yourself some pistols. Find out. Put on your helmet, that's gas. Never mind him now. Let's get this ship started before anyone else gets here. Still warm. We can take off any time. You sure you can fly this ship? Well, the controls are different from ours, but I can figure them out. Ventilator. Door. Starting jet.
seen it, I wouldn't have believed it. <laughs> hey, get a load of this. Automatic control. Oh, mighty pretty. Say, but if you give these back to the Mercurians, how can you be sure the ruler won't get them again? That's our next job. We've got to figure out some way of making sure that the ruler will never be able to use that planet again as a base of attack against the rest of the universe. It's a pretty big order, Commando. Oh, oh boy, what I wouldn't give for a handful of these. Well, you just give them to your girlfriends. Yeah, and would I? Why, John, what an idea. Quite an idea. <laughs>